Mumina Saleva is the wife of an illegally imprisoned Crimean Tatar activist, Seran Saliev. Russian authorities have accused him and six other Crimeans of distributing materials of the Hizbut Tahrir, which is recognized as an extremist group within Russia. Saliev was sent to prison until March 2018. Since her husband's arrest, Mumine has been raising four children alone. Along with this, I am studying at graduate school. After this family tragedy, I wanted to take a gap year, but my instructors persuaded me not to do it. They said that if I left, I would sink into my problems and it would be difficult to get back on my feet. There are now 100 children in Crimea whose fathers are in captivity, under investigation. Some of them have been sentenced and are in prison, fortunately. I want to mention that these 100 children are of different nationalities. Their parents have been accused of terrorism, extremism or extortion. Russian security forces forcefully broke into their homes in raids and arrested them in front of their children. In some families, children are in need of medical aid. They have physiological and psychological problems triggered by the searches. Some families need financial assistance. Their current living conditions aren't comfortable for young children or infants. Many women need to look for jobs due to their social and domestic needs. Lawyers and sending packages to prisons are quite expensive. Putting their skills together, the families of political prisoners, teachers, psychologists and people who work with children started the project called Crimean Childhood. This project is an NGO which is based on the group Crimean Solidarity. We are open for people who have skills in the sphere of raising and developing children, and of course financial support, because the organization of this event requires colossal costs. The support and participation of these people in this event is enough. It's enough simply to reach out a helping hand and show that you are in solidarity with this. The founders of the Crimean Childhood NGO are convinced that the project will spread nationwide. They hope that it won't only include children of political prisoners, but will give assistance to all children in need throughout the entire occupied peninsula.